Hey, so this is pretty cool. Uh, it's only been a couple of days since the last time I checked in on these little guys and... Check that out. They are growing like crazy. And, uh... It actually got to the point where this paper towel was tented up. And, uh, I had to bust little holes in it to let those sprouts come through. In the bottom down there, it's got some, uh, roots forming. But I'm going to have to transplant these to something else because they've only got enough nutrients. They've only got a little bit of nutrients in those seeds to get them started. And, you know, once they reach this stage, I'm assuming that they're going to need, you know, they're going to run out. They're going to need a little bit more. But, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm going to have to hurry up and get those transplanted into something that will, I don't know, fertilize them for their... What would that be? Adolescence? Teenage years? How do you determine plant age? Anyhow, um, moving over to here, we've got the celery. This is just absolutely shooting up. And, you know, I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video that I did or the last segment. I don't know how I'm going to cut these together, but you can take celery stumps and float them in water and they'll start to sprout. But once they get up to this size right about here, they don't want to stay upright in the water anymore. So what I did was, down here I just shoved toothpicks in the bottom. And you can actually see little tiny roots starting to form on the bottom there. Um, yeah, celery does not like Florida temperatures. And the soil conditions that it needs are just a little bit different from, you know, what everything else is going to need. Everything else seems to like the same little bit sandy, little bit acidic soil. And uh, I'm going to have to deal with that. I think these will just stay inside. And onto the avocado pits. I'm just going to throw those out. They are not doing anything. And that one in the back has just kind of split in half. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Beyond that, if we go ahead and pull back the veil here. So there's no doubt about it now, those cacti are starting to sprout. And even the peppers, the peppers are starting to germinate. So a little bit late to the game, I was worried about those, but no big deal. Um, hmm. That's about it. I'm going to have to accelerate my timeline on this because those are growing a little bit faster than I anticipated. But they are growing, so that's 100% germination, by the way. That is four for four, plus whatever's going to happen over there. But not, a bad, not bad for a guy with two brown thumbs. <laughs>